Alors, so, sorry. <laughs> After the few hours, I started to speak French. Anyway, even in the, during the English show. Okay, H5. Now, it's back, back to business. Boom. If you play H5, a wise man said, if you play H5, it means you play H4. This wise man was called Magnus Carlsen. Boom. Go for it. So E3, Queen C4. He only needs the door, but okay. It's a bit... Uh, <laughs> you know, he's not going to to play um, a Queen's Gambit and uh, try to make a door. D5 looks very good here to me. To my eyes. Knight d5, how do you protect here? a3? Ah, preventing knight b4. Okay, this is another way to do it. Knight f6. Okay. b4. Bishop b6. Bishop b2, I guess. Queen e2. Okay, it looks like not enough to me, but who cares? We've seen worse. Okay, now he will probably at some point come back here, play d6, knight g4, maybe. Testing. Yeah, exactly. Don't try this at home. That's a very good uh, point. Queen e6. Okay, I'm not a fan of queen e6, but I don't know. Rook c1 makes a lot of sense. Open file. You can go knight a4, b5, try to collect on c7. Also, d6, you see this knight is a bit uh, weird. Knight e7 is playing. It's really playing with fire. And he knows it. <laughs> he's not uh, <laughs> He's not the naive type. Uh, he knows. Okay, it's 4-1. You can play a bit with fire. Knight a4, c6. Okay, but in... Uh, as goes the saying, in bad positions... Uh, it's difficult to find good moves. So, c6. Okay. And castle now. That makes some sense. Yeah, he wants f4 maybe. Takes an f4. Allez. Takes an f4. Yeah, that looks very, very good to me. Opening up f4 immediately. Okay, he wants to take after, probably. Bishop c7, knight c5 is uh, really painful. And Magnus is going for e4. Okay. And now, what should we do? Maybe f5, knight f5, bishop f3. Something like that. Queen e1. Okay, he wants some... Queen h4. Ah, knight f5, bishop h3, I guess. Just pin. And it looks suddenly very, very good for... I mean, not suddenly. It looks winning for, for white, simply. I mean, winning might be a bit strong, actually. Oh, he's fighting again. This is just impressive, yeah? Some end game. But there is some compensation. There is a pawn for the exchange. I don't know. Hi, fish forty-five. And welcome, welcome to the show. The Magnus Carlsen show. Why it is better now? He has to win. He's in must-win situation. Ito Izaga for the next three games. The situation is not exactly great for him, but. He's still alive, and he has a better position here. I would, I would say, I'm not hundred percent sure. This is exciting. Yeah, the score is not exciting, but the games are really exciting. Um. So, 
What is he going to do? H4. Go for it. Eduardo. At B6, of course. 84, 38 seconds. Mm. Mm, I'm not optimistic for Eduardo here. Okay, it's hard to be optimistic for Eduardo anyway. Rook G3, Rook G1. You have to do that. What else? What else can you do, Eduardo? Rook G3 played. Ah, Rook H8. Oh, it's so good. And now Rook H7. Oof. H6, you have G6. Ooh, too strong. Too strong, too fast. Two minutes against 20 seconds. It's too good. What can we say? Hook G2. Yeah, but how do you improve your position now? Bishop H3, any move. Yeah, I think I don't see a plan for, for Eduardo here. You just wait, Magnus. Or maybe we'll reroute his knight to F5. That's also an option. I don't know. One forty-five against fifteen seconds. We we'll catch six. And okay, one trying to find some some play. Okay, is anyway, it's the same. King e six. Okay, makes sense. Takes and knight b five, I guess. Uh, g six. Okay, we'll catch five. Will come. Yeah. Ah, okay, seven, but I don't think it protects uh, anything. Take on h5, yeah. And slowly, Magnus is taking over. Surprise. <laughs> Big surprise. Magnus Carlsen taking over again in that game. Push. All is protected. Who wouldn't take black here? H3, yeah. Now, this is just uh, hard to imagine something happening to black here. Knight like c4 attacking d2, threatening b6. Mm. The bars, you see the evaluation bars. That's why it's it's not good to look. I mean, I would really advise you not to look at it. Because look, I mean, like, it's showing it's equal, but it's not equal at all. I mean, like, I mean, it's equal, but... Uh, <laughs> It's just so easy to, so so much easier to play for black. So much more comfortable. I mean, yeah, you go G3 or K3. I mean, okay, it's just white survives, but okay. It's just a nightmare. And he doesn't need to win. So that's too many. That's uh, too many problems for a man. Okay, Magnus thinking, king e6, check. He's exchanging crooks, at least he's offering a trade. Ooh, oops. Did he blunder a pawn? King d7, rook f8? I'm such a jinx, actually. I mean, I just said that Magnus would have. Uh, what can happen to him 10 seconds later? He's losing a pawn. This is just uh, insane. So I'm reading now the Twitch. This French says a debate to know if I'm French or not. i let you guess. Um, okay, sorry, sorry, I missed many moves. And Eduardo is making it. Wow, that's a surprise, actually. Now he's completely winning. Tetering to take on H3, Tetering Bishop E5. This is just insane. This is just insane. Take on H3. I sound very British. That's the first time I hear that, but okay, thank you. Rook G7, Bishop F5, still still fighting Magnus. If he saves that one, that would be just, <laughs> just incredible again. Okay, now he can, ah, 
Okay, we can save and it's a good move. Takes, takes, takes. Now, what can you do? You cannot do much. Okay, five check. And now moving the bishop is... Uh... Oh, four, key four. Uh, still fighting. This is just insane. Will he make it? We see he wants to resign, but... Uh... No, he's fighting. He's a fighter. It's great. Eduardo might win that. I mean, come on, exchange and pawn up. I think he's going to win. But. Yeah, that's. Okay, now he wants to, to liquidate into a one. Who can link just d4, c5. This is hard to believe. Something will happen here. But again. <laughs> So many things happen. No, he resigned. 